Hello everyone, I was reading this blog post on the internet, I had absolutely no involvement in creating it, so I just thought it was quite interesting and I would share it with you guys because I do have this security emphasis on my channel. So cracking the 12 plus character password barrier, literally. So it's been standard to say recently that to go beyond 12 characters leaves your password relatively secure and it's going to take a bit more time to crack than say a password below 12 characters. So doing dictionary cracking, up to four words of dictionary cracking. And you know, I would have said four words puts you within reasonable safety. However, yeah, that's definitely not the case. Um, really, I was actually quite surprised in how quick they were able to crack the password. So I'm going to have a bit of a read through this and put my opinion against some of it. So they're talking about using this budget cracking rig. Let's take a look at that first. The budget cracking rig of a budget of £5,000. Oh, and it uses Ubuntu and NVIDIA graphics cards. Interesting. So, hey, we've got Linux emphasis here as well. So the parts list. So it's got two Intel Xenon E5 processors and four NVIDIA GTX 1070 graphics cards. As well as you can see those other various components there. So that's uh, <laughs> quite a lot. And just take a flick down to the bottom of the page and see there it is they've got a fancy little picture of it uh, it looks good it looks good the software required so using ubuntu 14.04.5 and hashcat for the password cracking it's not a program i'm actually familiar with but it doesn't appear to be too difficult to use so i'm, I'm not going to demonstrate any of this this is just a discussion about uh, the theory here why are 12 plus characters vulnerable? Well, history has shown us that a lot of people choose to have memorable passwords, passwords from the dictionary, because it is a lot easier to remember. Well, even the joke of correct horse battery staple is easier to remember than uh, this um, mess over here. Yeah, I wouldn't have any luck remembering that, and I might have more luck remembering a word from a dictionary. The author is using a known dictionary, and uh, uses a couple of examples here from Google. So the 10,000 most common word list and a trillion word list. I think most of it is done with yeah the 10,000 word list. So this is cracking a 16 character long password using the example here of shipping November. Combine the two dictionary lists into Hashcat and it falls in less than one second. The method of hashing here is MD5. Now, MD5 has been known to be absolutely unreliable and who would possibly use it? Oh yeah, Yahoo was using it when they were compromised. So big companies are still using MD5 hashes. Unfortunately, you got no say in how a company stores its password. You don't know how they're storing it. If they're being sensible in using bcrypt, then this password would have taken ages to crack. No, they were using something utterly useless like MD5. Yeah, even SHA-1 is getting a bit useless as well nowadays. What they're taking advantage of here is poor password storage by the companies storing the password. Then they talk about what would happen if we modify the password slightly. Instead of just using lowercase, capitalise the first letter of the word. Oh yeah, great, that's going to really help it. Should do. And it falls in 28 seconds instead. <laughs> wow, that's uh, just added a whole lot of time to it, isn't it? Hmm. We could go further and create rules for leet speak. Replacing three for E's, one for I's, but this is all a known trick and yeah, if you're doing that, you're not really going to add much time to the password being cracked. So then they're trying to up the ante here a bit, using three words from a dictionary and it falls in two seconds. <laughs> so then they go all out and using a four word password, source interfaces gathered artists. And that's the link for the key space candidates for words they got to try. Still using the absolutely useless MD5 hashing function. So how long did it take them? Five hours, 35 minutes. This cracking attempt could have taken four days to complete using modern hardware, but luckily we found the candidate in just five hours, 35 minutes into the cracking session. Simple modifications to this password, like numbers or special characters in the middle would have made the password beyond our reach. But again, random common words is no difficulty there. 
So it talks a bit more about the modifications you can make to a password here. So there's an attack against environment CAS472. So how long did that one take? Um, oh, 14 seconds. <laughs> Great. Hmm. And any more examples that are just going to depress us even more? Oh yeah, so, so we've got number, password, and punctuation at the end of it. So what'd that take? Oh, seven seconds. Wow, great. You know, this is all far too depressing, isn't it, really? The speed it can be done is just ridiculous nowadays. And Well, I'm going to leave a link to this blog post in the description. You can have a look for it if you want. It, how little time it takes to crack a password. I mean, even if you're looking at four days, you think by the time these companies realize that uh, their password databases have gone out the window, so to speak. You know, you could be looking at uh, a couple of days or even months by that point. If it takes four days to crack even like a four word long password, then yeah. it's just, the time is too short. You just can't keep up with it. The time it takes to find out you've been hacked, you know, a company's gonna send out emails, or may not even bother doing that, but let's say they send out emails, it could take you more than four days just from receiving that email before you finally log on to a website thing. Oh yeah, maybe I will finally change my password. I put out some advice about password choice a little while back. I think it, most of that still stands because I was saying that you could use the four word long passwords as long as you put like the lead speak and a few random characters in it. Because as it's shown here, it would have put it a bit beyond their reach. I would imagine they still would be able to crack it, but you're looking into many days, months, possibly even a year, so it kind of goes beyond being worthwhile for these people to try and attack your password. I mean, it depends how determined someone is. All passwords can be cracked, but is it a matter of seconds or years? And to companies storing passwords, hashing is absolutely useless. You can't use MD5, NTLM or SHA-1 hashes. The best bet is bcrypt passwords with assault on them why am I saying that? It's because if you get a massive database of salted passwords, you've got to crack one line at a time. If they're not salted, you can get masses of passwords cracked in one go. All you have on your side is time, and we need to do everything we can to gain time. So that was a look at the cracking the 12 plus characters. Thanks for watching. See you all later.